Hello everyone and welcome to this installment of the Parkinson's Awareness Month videos by myself, Chad Moore, the president of DopaFit, personal training company that helps people with Parkinson's. For this session I want to talk about small handwriting and Parkinson's are also known as micrographia. I wrote a, a blog post about it a little while ago but I just wanted to reiterate it in to video form. But first I want you to notice my shirt, the Can You Cure It? This is a t-shirt that I received from the Parkinson's Action Network. I am proud to say that I am Assistant State Director for the state of Massachusetts. I got to meet tons of wonderful people out there in Washington when we all got to go out and speak to our representatives on Capitol Hill. So I wanted to give a shout out to all my Parkinson's Action Network friends. So getting back to it, what micrographia is, is it's that really tiny handwriting that a lot of people have when they develop Parkinson's disease. There's actually a lot of people who say, because this is back you know, when we actually used to write letters and such, that they look back on letters that they wrote up to you know, 10 years prior to their diagnosis and they could already see that it had gotten smaller compared to something maybe 15 years ago. Now, it can be controlled by levodopa. Just like Parkinson's does, the micrographia comes through the negative effects that Parkinson's has on the basal ganglia. So your levodopa will help. So it is important to maybe try to time your heavy writing, whether that's writing a lot of checks for all those great bills that we all have, or if you're still writing letters, things of that nature, to when your meds are at its strongest or those on times. But what I want to do is show you a little trick because you might not always be in a situation when your medication is on and you're going to have to write something. So if you're caught in one of those off moments, you need to write a check, which is from my experience, people seem to have the hardest time doing with Parkinson's because it's so small. There's a little trick you can do. Now I have the whiteboard here. I'm going to show you how you can do it, just writing stuff out. And then I'm going to show you that it can actually be done. You don't need to write on anything. You can just kind of do it up in the air with your hand. So real quickly, I'm just going to write on the board. Now, because your handwriting is small, just like everything else we do Parkinson's related, we want to make it big. And how we make something bigger, just like you may have done with your PTs, with making your steps bigger, is you want to take bigger strides when you're practicing. So then when you go back and you're doing your day-to-day -day things, it will hopefully be a little bit bigger. Now there is no known cure for micrographia. These techniques haven't been proven to extend your handwriting long term, but we do know in the short term it will help. So it's real simple. You're just going to go up to something, write out something really big, like in this case we're going to do B P D. So if I was to do this over and over and over again, and I'm not saying a hundred times, but you know, a couple times when I went down to write on my check, my handwriting would naturally be a little bit bigger. So what you can do, because I don't assume you're going to be walking around with a whiteboard to practice this on, you're going to just do it in the air. A lot of people find that what works for best for them, and it seems like enough time of practicing to then go and write something, it helps, is just do the ABCs. So you're just going to stand there. It may look a little crazy to people, but I mean, who cares in this day and age, you know? So you're just going to go, you're going to go A. Big, long strokes. Then B, same thing, really, really big. And C, keep going back and forth all the way through the alphabet. Go ahead and write your check. Not going to guarantee that's going to work, but there has been a lot of evidence that's showing, and a lot of people who do it, that says it works for them. So I want you to go ahead, go out and try it. Hopefully it helps. If it doesn't, maybe shoot me an email. I can do a little research, find out a little bit more. But all the research I have done says this will help you at least in the moment to write a little bit bigger. If you still aren't on the email list to receive these videos, make sure you go to www.mydopafit.com. I'll have it linked up in either, if you're on Facebook, it'll be up top. If you're on Vimeo or YouTube, it'll be on the bottom. Just click on it. Send me a little information with your name and email so I'll make sure you're getting these videos all month because I'm going to keep putting out a whole bunch of different tips and tricks to help you. All right, thanks for watching.